फ्रेंड्स नाउ टुडे वी डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एंड द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सो सी व्हाट इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सपोज इट इज अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज व्हेन वी ब्रिंग अनदर चार्ज फ्रॉम इंफिनिटी फ्रॉम इंफिनिटी देन ड्यू टू द फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन बिकॉज वी आर ट्रेडिशनली वी ब्रिंग ऑलवेज द पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो द पॉजिटिव चार्ज विल रिपेल पॉजिटिव अनदर पॉजिटिव चार्ज इट मीन्स वी हैड टू डू सम वर्क सो दिस वर्क इज स्टोर्ड एज ए पोटेंशियल इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो इट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल नाउ सी द डेफिनेशन हाउ कैन वी डिफाइन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस और द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कस द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सो सी वाट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इट इज द वर्क डन इन ब्रिंगिंग यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट इज द पोटेंशियल एट दैट पॉइंट सो अगेन आई हैव टू रिमाइंड इट इट इज इक्वल टू द वर्क डन इट इज इक्वल टू द वर्क डन इन ब्रिंगिंग यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट इट मीन्स वेन वेन क्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइन प्लस वन कोलम प्लस वन कोलम देन वी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू सो दिस वर्क इज इक्वल टू द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एट दैट पॉइंट सो हाउ कैन वी डिफाइन इट इट कैन बी डिफाइंड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एट ए पॉइंट एट ए पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन इन ब्रिंगिंग ब्रिंगिंग यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज मीन्स क्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन कोलम यूनिट 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 पॉजिटिव चार्ज पॉजिटिव चार्ज फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट ओके सो रिमेंबर it is a scalar quantity it is the definition electric potential definition and now it it is always a scalar quantity remember it is a scalar quantity okay means it doesn't depend on the direction it doesn't depend on the direction it depends only on the magnitude now its unit unit you can see because v is equal to w upon q so the unit unit of v it is the joule upon coulomb because joule is the unit of work and q is the and the unit of charge is coulomb so joule per coulomb and this joule per coulomb is also known as the joule per coulomb it is equal to the volt this this unit this si unit is also known as the volt so we can define 1 volt is equal to 1 joule upon 1 coulomb it means how can we define it 1 volt it's very good question so 1 volt electric potential at a point try to define from these lines electric potential at a point is 1 volt which is equal to the work done in bringing unit positive charge from infinity to that point in other words you can say if one joule work try to make the uh, de definition yourself if one joule work is done in bringing one coulomb of charge from infinity to a point then at that point electric potential is equal to 1 volt is it clear if one joule work is done in bringing one coulomb of charge from infinity to a point then electric potential at that point is equal to 1 volt so this is about the electric potential now come to the potential difference and try to understand the difference between the electric potential and the potential difference so see what is the potential difference potential difference it is the difference between the two points suppose these are the two points a point and the b point okay so unit positive charge if we carry unit positive charge from one point to another point okay then the work done work done is equal to the potential difference between these two points okay means from the same definition v is equal to w upon q 
work done in carrying unit positive charge from one point to another point is called the electric potential difference between these two points. Okay, suppose it is A point, it is the B point, so we can write A, V A minus V B. Okay, like this we can write or V A B, some, sometimes it may be right. So, this is the definition. Okay, so define, how can we define the potential difference between, between two points, between two points is equal to work done work done in carrying unit positive charge again unit positive means q is equal to plus one unit positive charge unit positive charge from one point to another okay so this is the potential difference between two points is it clear now again you should remember it is a scalar quantity again it is a scalar quantity clear and its unity its unit is same unit is same that is volt that is volt and volt is equal to joule per coulomb joule per coulomb okay so again we can define one volt potential difference as the one joule of work done in carrying one coulomb of charge okay so we can define in this way remember uh, in a circuit in a circuit you can measure the potential difference between the two points of a con of uh, in the circuit uh, by a special device and that device is known as the as known as the voltmeter okay so voltmeter is a device is a device to measure to measure potential difference between two points okay is it clear between two points and it is always connected it is always connected in parallel always connected in parallel okay last time in the previous uh, video we had discussed about the electric current and I told you that time a meter is the device which is measured to uh, the quantity of the current in a circuit and it, and the meter is always connected in series so that the total current should pass through the circuit now it is Suppose this is a resistance or a circuit, so it is always connected in parallel, always connected. Okay, suppose this is the current flowing like this. Okay, suppose this is the current flowing, so it is always in parallel. Remember, it is always in parallel voltmeter. Is it clear, I think? Now, come to another uh, important point uh, that is... Uh, we can discuss some block questions okay block questions block questions and the page number it is given 202 okay just see in your book first question is that question number one name a device that helps to maintain the potential difference across a con across a conductor okay so this is what is that because which maintains the potential difference between the in the circuit it is the cell or cell or what is the next battery you can say okay we'll discuss again cell or battery because in a circuit this is a symbol of the circuit uh, cell okay cell the uh, the longer line is positive and the smaller is minus so plus minus positive positive potential negative potential and it shows the potential difference high potential positive means the high potential and this is the low potential so current always flows from high to low okay so battery or the cell maintains the potential difference in a circuit this is the answer of first question now see the question number two 
what is the mean by saying that the potential difference between two points is one volt means you have to define one volt potential difference one volt means one joule upon one coulomb it means if one joule work is done in carrying one coulomb of charge from one point to another point then the potential difference between the point is one volt this is the answer okay okay it means one volt is equal to one joule upon one coulomb it means one joule work is done in carrying one coulomb of charge this is the answer now come to the question number three it is asked how much energy how much energy that is the w is given to each coulomb that is the q is equal to one coulomb okay it is given uh, of charge passing through six volt battery v is equal to given six volt okay so from from the formula since v is equal to w upon q or w is equal to v into q v into q v is six volt and q is equal to one so answer is six joule so six joule energy is required required to flow the one coulomb of charge so this is about the electric potential and the potential difference in next topic in next video we'll discuss about the circuit diagram and ohm's law thank you friends